Hello everyone and welcome to my next reaction to Supernatural. So, um, we are getting pretty close to the middle of the season and it's been kind of interesting, you know, um, there were a lot of questions going into this season and I feel like we're getting some, not all answers, but we're getting a little more insight into both Dean and Sam and Cass is honestly, but there's a lot going on with Cass right now, but like their mental state and everything like that. So I'm really excited to see what goes on kind of leading into the middle of the season. Let's go. Be sure to lock up the door and uh, set the alarm. Turn off the AC. Check the burners. Check the griddle. And clear off the cold table. I got it. Go on now. Thank you. Mom. Okay. She's more like a little sister than you, you know? Sure you don't mind if I take a shot? Oh. Oh. Okay. She's all yours, Chief. Wow. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Who's the source? Martin Creaser? Sorry, for a minute there, I thought you said Martin Creaser. Crazy Martin from the Looney Bend. Glendale Springs discharged him last month. I've been tracking Benny for the past week. You put mostly okay, Martin, on Ben. Oh my goodness. What is observe and report only? I was crystal clear about that. Wow, I can't well, believe that. Really? Oh boy. You don't believe that? Because Benny's a vampire. And any hunter worth his salt isn't going to let one just walk around freely. So I had Martin keep tabs on him. And right now, it's looking like I made the right call. Oh shit. So Martin's saying Benny did this. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. No, see, okay. this is going to be so, so Ladies much and tension. And, dragon, folks. and, oh boy, this is going to be a mess. This is going to be a full mess. I, oh, wow. You said look for an eruption? How's Mount Vesuvius? Okay. He turned up a pad. I hear a scream. I catch up. Then, boom, there he is. The old coop that Roy was eyeballing at the joint, bamped. I you feel like it can't be that diving? simple. There's a lot of holes, Martin. Holes! The only holes we should be looking at are in the Vic's neck. It sound like the Benny you know? I don't know, Benny. The Benny you know? Yeah, I... Say what? Yeah, that's fair. I get the distinct impression that your brother is vouching for a vampire. If this is Benny, that's a big if. Oh, it's him. I got history with the guy. Okay, I'm not signing up for a witch hunt. I owe him more than that. Yeah. You're not actually considering this. A couple hours tops. And what if it turns out to be Benny? Then it's Benny and I'll deal with it. Yeah. I believe him. Two hours, Dean. But I don't hey, know. Oh, look, we're going to give him a little bit of time. Give... Yeah. It's your brother. It's your call. I think we need to I'm watch on Martin. Going like this. It's staring him right in the face. Just. I... just I'm just Sometimes saying. It's not easy to see things for what they are. Oh my god. I don't want to do the right thing. I mean, this is the right thing, you and me. And maybe I'm going to hell for saying this, but I'm not ready to give this up. Oh. Wow. Oh god. Neither am I. Uh, take whatever time you need. Okay. Oh, what a mess. But you still have Riot. At least in the flashback. I don't know. It, it seems like you don't have Riot anymore now. And that's sad. Benny, I got a body here in Karen Crow with two holes in it. And I just found out you went fishing. Do I need to tell you what this looks like? Oh my goodness. Are you doing that? I, I feel like it can't be that simple that he's actually feeding. I don't know though. Not me, Denny. Which mirror are we talking about, Benny or Roy? Mm. Rovan. Came into the cafe a couple nights ago. Youngster, goes by the name of Desmond. He uh, 
He remembers me from the good old days. The good old days? I know it's hard to believe, but I haven't always been this cute and cuddly. <laughs> Chasing a memory thing. That's all. He's crewing up a new nest. I told him no. All right. So far, so good. Let's get to the part about the blood. I want to believe him, but I don't know. I don't know. I want to take him back to my old job at the cafe. I even found someone to hold myself accountable to. That's kind of someone thing. Family. Elizabeth, my great-granddaughter. Really? Wow! Now hold it now, you didn't... Uh, oh. Huh. Oh! <laughs> Betty, you got two stiffs on your hands and two hunters on your ass. Oh, please, the half-wit family at the cafe? I'll take my chances. The half-wit will sit by my brother, and trust me, my brother's not someone you want to mess with. Ooh, ooh. I didn't think Desmond had the ounce of steel in his spine, but I was wrong about that. So now I gotta do what I should have done two days ago, which is put him back where he belongs. Oh boy. I follow your boy down a friggin' path and trip over fresh vamp kill. And then you practically catch him in the act. Listen, I gotta say, it up. does not look good for Benny. You're still it doesn't. His side? But... Vampires pick oh. people off oh, in the God, I don't too. know. Okay. Are we just going on trust here? Yes. Mm. Okay. But the one thing I can say about Benny, he has never let me down. Yeah. <sighs> he, okay. Well, good on you, Dean. You must feel great finally finding someone you can trust after all these years. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, see, I knew we were going to get messy. Innocent. Oh. Oh, my heart. Okay. <laughs> These are innocent lives we're talking about, Dean. And you're willing to risk that on Benny's word alone. Damn right I am. What was that? Dean made his choice. Let's go do our job. No, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. You are Sam. Oh! We got ourselves a situation here now, though, don't we? Uh-huh. I know part of her loves me. And now, part of her loves you. But the only one that knows what's best for Amelia is Amelia. There we go. So when all of this is said and done, and she's made her decision, I respect it. And if you truly love her, you do the same. Wow. That was a very uh, mature way to handle it after everything he's been through. Wow. All right. Okay. That was uncomfortable. But could have gone worse, right? Come on. Oh my god. This is. Okay. I don't know that we needed to. <sighs> Handcuff him. I mean, we know he could probably get out of it. They're on the way to you, I guess, yours. No offense, Dean, but your little brother doesn't exactly put chills up my spine. Benny, listen to me. Do not okay. underestimate. I go find Desmond. You take me with, or I don't tell you where he is. Well, you know where he is? Oh, boy. He said he's not gonna... Are you in? Or are you out? I want to believe him so bad. Okay. All right. Sam, do not leave. No, 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 no. Do not leave Martin. Sam! Mainly because I think he's going to get himself killed. Oh my goodness! Okay, it's going to be okay. What was playing? I'm so I nervous about this episode. I've some... been dealing with crazy. Oh, day. Oh! oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Benny! Uh -oh. 
I feel like that was too quick. Is Benny oh. actually doing the killings? Whoa, 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 chill. You okay? Chill. Chill. We're fine. Okay. I don't know how I feel, and I don't know what is real. <laughs> I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm leaving. What? Don found you at the bar. Amelia. He threatened you. Amelia, no, he didn't threaten me. I... <sighs> Look. I'm just trying to do the right thing here. This morning, you and I were the right thing, remember? <sighs> oh my god. I know god. that you, Amelia, you saved me. Oh. It seemed obvious that they didn't end up together, but oh my goodness. Thanks for not giving up on you, brother. Don't give me a reason to. The skeptical person in me is still nervous, but. So, for your own sake, do not follow him. Are we clear? You don't have to worry about me, Dean. I'm long gone too. Oh, oh Martin. There it is. I just should go. That's right, there's wind this year. Who is this? I need to know who this is. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. You enjoy the cherry? <laughs> Done yet. She's a nice girl. Takes kindly to strangers. Oh my goodness. Martin, oh, this is not me, no. Lay down your arms, you unholy thing. Martin, you need to chill. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Me here now. What's going on? It's okay, Lizzie. He ain't gonna hurt you. Ain't that right? Roy, please just tell me what's going on here. This, this is a lot. Jeez. Roy, who's Benny? Who's Benny? All right, you've really Stay lost back. the plot, Stay sweetie. Stay back! Jeez! Look, see that? Violated pupils. He's gonna eat you. He's gonna eat you. And I want him to not. And to stay strong. But like, you'll kind of deserve it. You know? Tell her how you're her long lost grandpappy. Tell her about all the dead you left behind. Tell her about the monster you are. Oh, sweetie. Obvious. I want your head on a stake. <gasps> oh no. I'm sorry. I hope they're saving us. No place. way. Wherever it is you've come from. <laughs> Oh, we don't get to see. We don't get to see. We don't get to see. We don't get to what? Oh, what the fuck is going on? And then, what, and what is going on with this? I don't, oh my God. Was it not her that texted? You told me to call you if I saw it. him. What do you mean? Roy, is, is he there right now? Holy, that's a lot of blood. This is, this is a lot. This is a lot. Okay. Who died? Because I think if Benny wanted to get the jump on Martin, he would get the jump on Martin. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Well, well, oh boy. Oh, don't just answer. Don't just answer. Sammy? Oh, okay. Sam, I need your help. Come quick. Nice one. 
Well, they're saw both. Saw Amelia's phone out with the burner, sending a distress signal. Okay. Yeah, I saw her. <clears throat> She's doing just fine. But, of course, you know that. Actually, I didn't. I didn't know it was the only way to get you to lay off. <laughs> was it Benny? He had it coming, Sam. I'll tell you what happened. And I know what happened. Dean. Okay, you want to listen to me or not? Oh no! I knew that was you. Oh! Oh! You gotta work on your lurking skills. Okay. Oh boy. Here we fucking go. Alright. Okay guys, I'm gonna start these post-episode thoughts by explaining why I was still skeptical after um, and maybe some of you were similar to me in this, um, after they killed the other vamp. It was too quick and too easy. I was like, there has to be more to this episode than like Benny says, it was this guy. And then they killed the guy. And then, you know. Um, and so I was waiting for something more. And I was like, oh no, it was Benny all along. Um, I, I don't believe that anymore. It seemed like they were more ramping up for Martin to kind of not let things go and provoke you know, um, but I, I wanted to clarify that because <laughs> I was really like, this is too quick and I feel like we have a little bit more of the episode here. Okay, um, I'll briefly touch on Sam and Dean. You already know what I'm going to say. You already know that I am going to be like, you know what, it drive. you know, I just don't love these times with the brothers. I understand that it is a main, um, theme of the show that the brothers really do go through ups and downs and this is we're at a down point you know I was really liking for the most part not completely but for the most part last season they seemed to kind of be on the same page with a lot of stuff not everything but it they seem to really be working together um and the writer said no you had your time with them you know enjoying working together and, and all of that you had it and so, I mean, just various things. Sam sending Martin to go spy on Benny. And though I will say I do understand why that was something he did. Um, you know, there's a little bit of uh, there's going to be a lack of trust there, which I think is already kind of lacking um, for Dean to Sam. Um, and then Dean, you know, sending, using Amelia to send Sam away and whatever. That's an, you know, it, it, and it's not my favorite whenever the writers decide that we really want the brothers to be at odds. So, you know, there's, there's a lack of trust and there's, there's a lot of that stuff. Um, I wanted to believe Benny throughout all of this. I really, truly did. I, you know, and I understand Dean's wanting to believe him as well. And as unfortunate as it is where he kind of said, well, you know, I, I trust him or, you know, he's never let me down and how that really stung Sam. Here's the thing, Dean and Sam, because of what they have to deal with, what they have to go through, and everything they have gone through together, there's a lot of history there. It's not going to be as picture perfect. It's not going to, things get complicated, and that's relationships, okay? And, you know, they're at odds right now, and the show is really trying to, like, wedge them apart as much as possible, even starting with, like, the very different types of mentalities that they had towards the beginning of this season. But truly, you guys have been through so much. The love is there. The care is there. We'll get there. We know we're just going to have to get through some, uh, some obstacles first. I, I, I guess that might be the best way to um, put it. Uh, but I really, you know, I understand why, you know, Dean cares very deeply about loyalty. And as far as he's concerned, um, Benny has not 
betrayed him or anything. And, you know, there are other significant people in his life that he doesn't really feel that way about. So, you know, I think he, he wanted to do everything he could to give um, Benny the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I do believe that there are quite a few people that would argue he didn't really give um, maybe Amy the benefit of the doubt way back when, but, you know, um, also I think he's changed and, and um, grown with his experience in purgatory, so there's a lot of stuff with that. Um, but on that side of things, I can understand how Sam is a little frustrated with the situation. Um, when it's somebody you trust, it's a little different. And I'm, I'm not taking, I'm trying to just talk about their, I'm, I'm, please don't yell at me for either, I'm, I, I genuinely uh, can kind of see where they're both coming from with this. And, um, I understand that some people will think it's very hypocritical and some people will think, well, he's, he is a different person and, and stuff like that. But I, I do also understand Sam's frustration with it in, in the sense of, you know, um, I think he wishes that this mentality could have been applied in, in another situation as well. Um, the flashbacks were quite interesting. Love seeing Riot as always. Icon, the moment, the, a legend, really, honestly, in the supernatural universe. Um, but, you know, um, I think Sam was clinging on to Amelia to because he, he didn't have anything else to cling to. Um, I know that there's been a, a little bit of criticizing Sam for a lot of his decisions of not looking for Dean. And I even said that I wish that that wasn't part of the writing. Um, and I think some people say that, that Jared didn't even love that, that plot line or whatever, but, um, for not looking for Dean. Um, but I also, I do want to remind everybody when it comes to both Sam and Dean in various times in this show, um, you know, they're not always making decisions with the clearest head. You know, he was lost. He was, he didn't know what to do and he was trying to cling on to something and he tried to cling on to Amelia. And I think he does actually care for her because I think his decision to leave was probably more so for her to heal and to get kind of back on track. Um, that's just my opinion of that, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of say that, um, cause I know it, and it's, it's both ways. Um, I've talked before that sometimes this fandom gets very divisive, especially when it comes to the brothers and the decisions that they make. Um, but I've always kind of seen that, you know, a lot of times, I don't know, I, I feel like there's, they're dealing with a lot both of them. And sometimes uh, the decisions that they make may not be the decision that you would make without like all of this heavy trauma influencing you and, and, and all of that. Just wanted to say that. Okay. Uh, but this was a really, really interesting episode. I actually liked the fact that we just didn't see um, Benny kill uh, or, uh, the, you know, the, the beginning where there was, he followed Benny and there was a dead body. So we didn't know. We didn't know. And I wanted to believe him, but there was a part of me throughout this whole episode that was like, oh boy, oh boy, it's going to turn out that Benny's killing and it's going to be horrible and all of that. And um, so I actually really liked the way that they framed this episode. Um, I like that even after they killed the vampire, at least me, and maybe it was just me, but I was still like, did Benny actually do it? Why are we? But obviously I explained that it was because it felt really quick, in my opinion. Anyway, um, I enjoyed this episode. I don't love whenever the brothers are at like such severe odds, but it is the nature of the show. So it is what it is. Hopefully we'll get back on track at some point. 
Alrighty, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.